guys? You can't even see your head. Ah! <laughs> guys! Okay. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my witchy world, witches. How are we all feeling today? Good. <laughs> so me and Eddie, our hair is a little wet because we just got caught in the rain. Uh-huh. Not oh what the rain, guys. Let me tilt it down so we can see a little better. <laughs> All right, you guys. So today we have Sacred Isium uh, for the month of August. Anything you want to say before we get started? Yes. So, let's go have a fun and sit down and relax. Subscribe and have fun and sit down and relax. Yeah, guys. Okay. All right, you guys. So. <laughs> So, we're not going to waste any time. We're just going to get right into this box. We're pretty excited. Last month's uh, Sacred Isium was very, very good. So, uh, we're. Oh, baby, do it. Ooh, is that a feather? Yeah. Guys, look. You got to make sure you hold it up so you can see it. See? Oh, right look. Ooh. So, we have a black feather. Feather here, very, very cool. How'd that get in there? Our little ribbon. All right, oh, so we're gonna yeah. pull back the tissue paper. Tissue paper's black this time. Pull out the paperwork first. Mommy's gonna read that. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, wait, 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 before you start, hold those for me and let me read this. So we have connecting with the goddess of witchcraft. Uh, so the goddess of witchcraft, I believe, is Hecate. So this would be the second box that we've gotten. Uh, I have a hair stuck in my watch. <laughs> um, that we've gotten something on Hecate. So this is pretty cool. So it says, the top portion says, Merry we meet. We gather this month of August, a month into the dark half of the year. Signs of autumn approaching are starting to show themselves. These changes are subtle in the beginning. If you haven't taken notice, be sure to take a moment to admire nature the next time you're outside. The changes of the seasons, even in their most subtle form, are our guides through the year and should inspire our magic to stay in alignment with the earth and universal flow. The leaves are beginning to gradually fade away from green. You may even notice a few extra leaves on the ground. There's a lot here. I'm not going to read this whole thing. So um, to guide us along our journey, we can connect with the Queen of Witches, the Goddess of Witchcraft, and the Goddess of the Crossroads. We call upon her. She is she of three faces and represented by the triple moon. We can call upon the Mother for fertility, sexual, sexuality, stability, and power through the full moon. Hecate is always near and patiently awaits your call. She can be the greatest teacher of the craft. She will inspire you and bring an end to a situation through the waning moon. Um, da -da 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 -da. This month's box will be an aid to connect you with Hecate. If you choose to pursue her, you may choose to acknowledge her as your goddess of the craft and create a shrine for her for daily working pray and praise or you may call upon her for guidance during your magical work when you need her wisdom in witchcraft. Um, okay. And then the quote says, The goddess has never been lost. It is just that some of us have forgotten how to find her. Patricia Monaghan. Cool. Very cool. Um, all right. So we're going to put this aside because I don't want to know what's in it. Go. Uh, oh, our... Um, our card for the month is from the, I believe this is called the Moonology deck. I don't remember who it's by, but I do own this deck. And it's a very lovely deck. So this one says, you and your loved ones are safe. That's good. Good, good, good. All what right. Do you see that? So this, this paperwork is awesome. I love this. Um, the artwork is just amazing on it. Yeah. So this is just some information about Hecate. And it got a snake on there, too. It does. That's right. So it's got altar decor, symbols, stones, oils and incense colors, herbs and trees, and animals. Very, very cool. What's in this dress? So it's funny because this says 
her animals are dogs, snakes, owls, crows, and rodents. Eddie and I were just talking about how we were going to... Um, there's nothing. And we were gonna get back. we were gonna get some some rats for pets. Uh -huh. Yes, because I've had them before and they're so adorable and cute and I love them so much. So Eddie's excited. What's not good, guys? What's not good? The snake is back. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with snakes. So this one is I the evocation of snakes. Hecate. Oops. You can see that. This is very cool because it's color coded. Um, all the red areas are what you're supposed to be saying, and then the black are the instructions in between, basically. So this is really awesome. Very cool. Very, very cool. So, God, I, I just, I love the artwork. Very nice. And why are you reading it? I'm not going to read all of it, baby. Okay. Going for the bubble wrap. Did I open it? Um, it needs scissors, so let me... I'll cut it and then you can unravel it. Okay. okay. And I'll show them to it. Okay. So it looks like we have a candle. Yes, you guys. We have to, so it came in a, a baggie here, so it looks like a homemade candle. What the baggie was inside. Oh, yeah, so there is, um, Ooh, the like, you can smell the oils. You can see the herbs on it. This is really cool. So this is our candle, and it's got a little key okay. on it here. I'll hold it can't see it through my shirt here. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Did I hold it? And it smells delicious. No, because it's, it's got oils all over it, babe. I don't want you to get oil all over your hands. So I, that's beautiful. I, I want to smell it. Ooh, you smell it? it? Yeah. It smells good, right? Mm -hmm. Very cool. I love it. I love a, a good homemade candle. So I like that a lot. That probably has to do with the Ritual. My eyes are right, yeah. That's their business card. All right. Next. It's Do this one. Do this one. Do this one. Guys, I'll show them. Look at it. It's so beautiful. So we have our incense here, and it's uh, myrrh. Myrrh incense. I love, I love Mark. Did I hold it though? Oh, holy. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten sticks of Mar incense. And again, I love the baggies. You can recycle the baggies. Mr. Grabby Pants today. No. No. Do the little ones first, babe. Guys, look. So we have an herb here. I'm going to cut the lid off just so it stops getting in the way. Yeah. Don't, da, 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 da. don't. Don't open the bag. You don't know what it is. Do it. I don't want to smell it right now. Hold on. Let me do this. Good. Good. All right, so don't, all right. This is spearmint. So we have some spearmint here. It does smell good. I smell it all. It way. smells like minty freshness, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so this says, in magical practices, spearmint may be used for prosperity, good luck, healing, psychic development, divination, and protection. Traditionally used in oils and as a loose incense when working with Hecate, can be used in teas, oils, baths, ointments, balms, and burned. So we have quite a bit of spearmint here. Very nice. Pick one of these again. We have a black bag. The only reason I'm showing it right now is because you're too short and no, you. When you hold it up, they can't see it. 
I'm taller than you, so they can see a little bit better when I do it. So we have some string here, some black string. Ooh, okay, so there is a bunch of little stones in here. <gasps> what? What? Okay. Oops. Put it in there. Don't touch, because they're going to go everywhere, because they're super small. So we have little, I thought they might be like beads to put on a necklace, but they're just little baby stones. Um, and I'm not sure what the stones are, but they, it looks like there's like at least two different stones in here. So there's little chips and then we have a pendant in here, which I believe is... Bum, bum. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna guess, I'm not sure. Oops. Okay. It's very nice, it's a very nice pendant, I like it a lot. And then the cord, so I'm assuming that this is supposed to be like a, a necklace and you're supposed to um, put the pendant on the necklace. I lost it. Uh, crystal chip. Um, what are you doing? I eat the box. Why? Because I like it. So I think to. you're supposed to string it on like this. Okay. And then you would just tie it at the end there. Very cool. I'm not sure what symbol that is. That's what's going here? No. Why should I? That is beautiful, right? Got some weeds in there too. So we have our oil. And some weeds. This is the call of Hecate, and there's all kinds of goodies in here. So let me show you. Okay. Oh, smell it. Smells minty like spearmint. I like it. Smells good. Smells very minty. I like it a lot. Very cool. Next. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's just that's just packing paper. <gasps> careful, careful, careful. <gasps> it's a stone, guys. Is that beautiful? Can smell it? I don't know why you just smelled the stone. So we have a black stone here. I am not sure what this is, but it looks similar to the, the chips, the stone, the crystal chips in the um with the pendant. You can do that one. Well guys. So we have this guy. It's purple, my favorite color. Ew. So it looks like a little altar cloth with the um, triple goddess symbol on it. The, this is like very soft. <laughs> Let me but it's touch very, it. it's very beautiful. I like it. No way. It's very it's nice. Very Well, 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 guys. Very cool. He is moving too quick for me. Um, so this is pack, is it? Let's so look. it's, it, there's a lot in there, right? Mm-hmm. What is it? It is mullion leaf. In, uh, in magic, mullion is known as Hecate's torch. In the old days, funeral rites devoted to Hecate used mullion stalks dipped in fat to guide funeral processions. Magical purposes are protection against black magic, curses, and other negative energy, used to keep away malevolent spirits and bring courage when kept on person. 
Very cool. So we just use that I guess to bear it away. Side look. Let me open it. No. This is nettles leaf. In magic, nettles leaf can be used in work around protection, healing, lust, and for exorcism. Traditionally used as a loose incense when working with Hecate. Can be powdered and used in tinctures, used in teas, candles, and burn. So we have that guy. It got dark in here all of a sudden. The storm must be getting a little bit worse outside. All right, so that leaves us with our last item, which Eddie has been dying to take out of this box. Oh, guys, it's so big. It's heavy, too. Okay. So we have a, it is actually pretty heavy. What is in there, guys? So heavy. Okay, we got newspaper shoved in here. I'm fine. Ooh, it looks like a little cauldron. It is. Oh, very cool. I'm whipping. No, don't rip it because you're going to make a mess. Okay. It is very, very cool. This is the first time we've gotten a cauldron. So that's why so it, it was is, so heavy. Yes, that is why it's so heavy. So it has, ooh, I'm going to break my glass table. So it's got the triple moon. It's, it's black, so it's hard to show you, but. Got the triple got moon oh, on there hat. on both sides. I got my hat. Eddie, I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> so triple moon on both sides. It says uh, New Age Imports Incorporated Quality Products. On the bottom. I had a fail, guys. Okay. Very, very cool. This is awesome. So from what I read, and I love the fact that it comes with a little lid. From what I wed from what I wed from what I read on the invocation of Hecate and the items needed, it says that you need a cauldron or a heat resistant bowl or dish, a black candle, which they also supplied, and a holder dressed with oils and herbs. All right, let me let me read this, okay? So just, or you, you're, we're done. So if you want to go watch TV, you can. Yeah. You want to hang out? All right, cool. All right, so stay quiet while I read this, okay? Um, so it says item needed. We need the cauldron. We need black blank parchment paper, matches, not a gas lighter, a uh, black candle and holder, oil. Black stone, onyx, obsidian, tur tourmaline, hematite, shungite, Apache tear, items sacred to Hecate, don't need all, just a couple, keys, black feathers, snake skin, symbolic imagery, triple moon, Hecate's wheel, triple face, moon, etc. Incense sacred to Hecate, myrrh, cypress, night queen, patchouli. Three garlic heads as an offering to Hecate. Optional is a black altar cloth or cloth that has symbolic imagery on it. Um, oh, yeah? Okay. Statue of Hecate, which in the um, sacred space crate, we got this beautiful black. So I assume that can be used. Okay. Uh, and then Hecate, Hecate smudge, gather a few dead leaves, twigs, pine needles, etc. must be dead and dry when gathered. So they basically gave us everything that's needed for this evocation. And that is super exciting. I am very excited about this cauldron. I love it. Me I too. have all different sizes now. I have really big ones. I have this little guy here. Um, I am very, very excited. This is very cool. So, yay. So that's really exciting. Can that's, I touch it? Sure. It's heavy. Please don't drop it. 
Um, so that's really exciting. I love that they give you almost everything that you need except for a few things that are very easy to walk out into nature and grab. And um, I just think that this box is like a, a huge fan favorite of mine. So um, they give you so many herbs, so many like cool things that, like cauldrons and stones. I just, I love it. Everything's like pretty much handmade and uh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm very excited. got that symbol on that. Yeah, the triple, the triple moon. Triple goddess. Cool, right? Yeah. Very cool. All right, you guys. So that is it for this box. Uh, let's read about everything that we got. So let's switch. Okay. All right, so there's a little message up at the top, but it's not it's not important. Basically, it just says, um, although extensive energy is used in magically creating and spelling and charging all of these items, um, they can be used as is and still be effective, but please take the time to align your intent and energy with these items before you use. So that's what it says. It makes it more personal. So we have our Oracle card is drawn from the Moonology Oracle Cards deck by Yasmin Bolin. Artwork is by Nix Rowan. So that's this guy here. This is a very good deck. If you don't have this deck, it's awesome. Um, next, we have the Evocation of Hecate Candle. It's our little homemade candle here. Handcrafted Candle is designed to connect you with the goddess Hecate by evoking her to your magical space and into your life. Okay, it says in red, it says remove all dressings tied to the candle before use. Do not burn unattended. Candles dressed with herbs, oils are at higher risk of fire. Um, this candle should not be taken lightly and should not be used unless you intend to follow through and work with Hecate. Good to know. Um, okay, we have spearmint, nettles, leaf, mullion leaf, which I read all about them on the actual packaging. This just repeats it. Call of Hecate oil. That's this guy. Did I hold an oil? Sure. Um, oil consists of oils and herbs sacred to Hecate, sunflower oil, uh, snake root, clove, cat's claw bark, chamomile flowers, cypress tree oil, sandalwood oil, rue oil, spearmint oil, myrrh oil, patchouli oil, and black obsidian semi-precious stone. Our myrrh incense sticks, um, fantastic for burning during meditation or upon the altar for your spells, particularly those of healing and hex breaking. Uh, myrrh is also known for protection, purification, healing, magical potency, and its use as a sacred tool in many cultures. Um, black onyx in bag. So I assume that is the... No. Where's the little bag? So the this guy here is black onyx offers you a great way to help keep you on task and balanced within your life as you work with hecate and and further develop a into a powerful witch it is just as important to maintain balance and grounding use this stone alongside of any magic being performed with the assistance of hecate uh, when not in use keep charged on your shrine for Hecate, you can use the black bag for any charms or to store the onyx. Allow this charm, do not allow this charm to be touched by the sun, charge with energy. What? Wait a second. Okay, yes. Okay, so that is the I didn't know this black you. onyx. No, I'm gonna put it back in the bag, but thank you. 
Okay, next we have the cast iron triple moon cauldron with lid. Um, use it for your Hecate shrine. Cauldrons or any heat resistant dish is almost a necessary item when it comes to spell work and serves many purposes. Uh, used to burn powder incense and cones, can even place a stick of incense into salt or sand and use to catch the ash. It can be used to hold your smudge ash and the lid can be used when smudging room to room in place of a shell or other ash catcher. Be sure not to get wet. Cast iron will rust. If it gets wet or needs to clean, do not use soap. Dry in a hot oven. Once almost cooled, it once almost cooled but still warm, apply vegetable oil inside and out to prevent rust. Cast iron will last your lifetime and many others if maintained. Very nice. What? Then we have the irresistible amulet with bag and cord. So that was the bag with all the little stones in it. Um, crap. All right, bud. Like, I don't want you to drop it, okay? Uh, crafted of a lead-free pewter, this amulet depicts arms reaching out in all directions from a central orb. This amulet is double-sided and casts energy inward as well as out. Be sure to anoint and bless both sides. This amulet is worn to help make every action imbued with an irresistible action. A must amulet when casting magic that attracts or when you desire something strongly. Anoint this amulet with the call of Hecate oil and bless it with the smoke of myrrh incense before wearing. 18 by 18 triple moon altar cloth. You leaving now? Okay. I, th I think Bye, he got... <laughs> you, had to, you had the trash can? Yeah. Okay. All right, buddy. Go ahead. Go watch TV. He got bored of me just sitting here reading paper, so... What are you going to do, you know? Uh, triple moon altar cloth can be hung or placed on the altar or shrine. Recommended before use to anoint and charge... With the call of Hecate oil to invoke the power and energy of Hecate, there's people walking by. Shush, please. Thank you. Shush. Lay down. All right. And then why we chose not to include a statue in this month's box. When it comes to Hecate, there are many pre-made statues. However, Hecate prefers her statues to be created by the witch giving her honor. The statue can be simple or elaborate, made of cloth, plant, stone, clay, metal, wax, etc. Just made of your creation and devotion. You can declare a pre-made statue in her name, anoint it, bless it, and adorn it with her sacred items for temporary use or when calling her for your magical work in occasional spells. However, if you decide to create a shrine for her, and work with her regularly. She desires that you make the represent that you make the representation of her. Relax. Even a female figure in its most primitive form can work. It does not have to be lifelike or a work of art. Just your energy, your intent, and your devotion to her is what we build the strongest connection. Is what will build the strongest connection. All right, and that is it very cool so i like i liked this i liked this box i really did like this box i love that we got a little cauldron with it the altar cloth um the stones everything it's just it's really good and i i'm actually pretty excited because we we, we i got two boxes this month that are were centered around hecate so i have a lot of I have a lot of stuff here for her. <laughs> um, so this is very exciting. Oh, man, I keep um, yawning. So every time I try and read a lot, it's like what happens every time. All right, you guys, that's it for this box. I am very, very thrilled with everything that we got in this box. Um... Basically, we always get the same amount of stuff. We always tend to get about three herbs, sometimes more, sometimes less. Like, but majority, it's around three herbs. 
a candle, an oil, and um, about a stone. And then we usually get two other things that are like, you know, surprise items. Uh, so this box makes me really happy. I know the last, I think it was last month, um, some of you were commenting how you don't feel like the value is there for this box. Like it's a, it's an expensive box and you don't feel like you're getting a lot out of it. Um, I mean, I guess I can see where you're coming from, but at the same time, like, I, I don't know. I, I've never felt like I didn't get bang for my buck. So that's just me. Um, you know, we're all entitled to our opinions, but I don't, I don't feel that way. Um, especially when you get things like, like, you know, the cauldrons, my, my cauldron that is maybe a little bit bigger than this, um, was like 20 bucks in itself. And this is, you can tell this is not a cheap altar cloth here. Uh, I mean, the print goes all the way through, so it's not like a, so you can see it's colorful on both sides. So usually when that happens, it's, it, it's not cheap. So just saying, just saying. Um, yeah, I mean, I just feel like they put a, they put a lot into these boxes and, uh, I, I like it. So I like it. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to stop rambling. Make sure you follow me on social media. I am on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. More active on Instagram than anywhere else. So make sure you're following me on there. But I do post on the other two as well. Um, well give this video a like. I mention in every video that the more likes a video gets, the more people get to see my videos and become part of the Karma Fam. Comment down below on what your thoughts are on the box. I think it's pretty cool. I can't wait to set everything up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are already subscribed, make sure you share this video with your friends. And I think that's it. I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs> all right, you guys, I will check you all. I will check you all. No, I will catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>